Hello, I'm Trifu. I've been asked many times in streams and in the comments of my videos what TAS is and how to use it. In this video, I'll explain both. Despite popular belief, TAS isn't AI or a robot. All TAS does is record your inputs and replays them. During the replay, you can take control again and continue the shot. TAS is only available on PC and if you have Pockets Mod installed. To make a TAS, go into Free Play or a custom map, like Lethmere's Double Size. Blocker's TAS will work in LAN matches hosted by Rocket Plugin with the Free Play box ticked, Free Play, and custom maps. TAS will not work in any online game. That includes private matches, casual, competitive, or extra modes, online free play, or training packs. Once you're in free play of some kind, start to do a setup. You can start dribbling or take the ball up the wall for an aerial shot. Or you could even try doing a no-flip shot like a corner read if you set it up properly. Right before you get to the wall, or right after you start your dribble, pause the game. Once the game is paused, press F2 on your keyboard, navigate to plugins, and then tasks. I have mine favorited for ease of access. From there, we can start to work some magic. Go to the far right tab of your tasks plugin GUI and take replay on reset. Press the drop down menu labeled Start Recording Options, and tick all the boxes. Once you've done this, go to the tab labeled Controls in the Task GUI and press New Tasks. You can name this task whatever you'd like, but it can't contain periods, exclamation marks, or question marks since those can't be in the name of a file. Also, you may want to make it pertain to the shot that you're doing. Now when you're done, change the bar labeled Recording Speed to a speed you feel comfortable at. Mine is typically set at 0.5 or 0.2 depending on what I'm doing. Now you can unpause, reset the shot, and begin doing whatever shot you'd like. For this example, I'll be doing a simple pen to reset to musty double tap. Once you mess up, pause the game, press F2, and if you weren't in the controls tab of the attached GUI, navigate there and press stop and update. Then go back and continue the shot. If you're having trouble transitioning from full speed to slow-mo, can change the replay speed from 1 to whatever you're recording at or something slightly faster. Once you've got something you're happy with, you should make sure that you go to the middle left tab labeled Loaded Tasks and press Save Tasks. You should do this every several minutes in case your Rocket League crashes or your internet goes out. If you find it inconvenient that you have to go back to the GUI and press Stop and Update to update your tasks, there's actually a solution. Go to the Binding Bacchus Mod tab. Then, add a bind and set it to a button that you don't use but that's easy to hit. Mine is bound to my down d-pad. Then press the blank space that turns blue when you hover over it. Type tasks underscore stop and update and click on the option that says tasks underscore stop and update. Then hit save. Now you should be able to update your task shot without skipping a beat. If you find the task stopped watermark annoying, you can open the plugin manager and disable tasks when you're not using it. Some more fun things you can do with TAS are changing the maximum speed of your car, going into a custom app, or using boomer mode, or even all three at once. You can find all the plugins I used in the video in the description of this video, along with links to my socials that you should definitely go check out. I hope you found this tutorial and explanation helpful and informative. Please leave any feedback in the comments below or the feedback channel in my Discord server. Have a great day and have lots of fun with your newfound TAS abilities.